Hello and welcome. Today I'm taking you on a uh, hike from uh, Bunny Flat to a horse camp on uh, Mount Shasta, following the horse camp trail. And it starts here at the uh, Bunny Flat. It's a big uh, parking area, easy to reach. And then at uh, next to this uh, information kiosk is the beginning of the path. And it's leading up and all the way to horse camp you'll have beautiful views of uh, Mount Shasta. And this is uh, summertime so it's easy to walk. I also made a video a few months ago in the winter time in snow. And at that time uh, you only made it halfway because uh, I lost my way, but now in the summer it's much easier. See that we're going to the left to horse camp. You can also go to the right to the old ski bowl, um, <clears throat> but that is also in the summer. You can reach it by car, not in the winter. Anyway, we're going left here towards uh, the horse camp, and this is one of the the main routes that um, mountain climbers uh, take when they want to go to the summit of Mount, uh, uh, Mount Shasta. And then I believe they stay at horse camp and overnight and then leave early in the morning and then you should be able to reach the top in a day and even come back in a day I think. I haven't uh, made any attempt to uh, get to the top of uh, Mount Shasta. The locals, the original peoples that lived here, still live here. I believe they say do not go above the uh, Um, what you call it above the the tree above the level where uh, then there are no more trees. What do you call it in English? I'm drawing a blank at the moment, but anyway, so locals believe you should not go above to where the trees are. Anyway, so this is the, the trail, very easy to follow in the summertime. I mean, easily marked, not so easy to walk always because of the, all the rocks. But like I said, in the winter, it, this is a little more challenging. And if you do decide to climb the mountain, you should take a, a guide with you. But in the summer this is a, a nice hike. Somewhat strenuous, the last part. It goes, um, well, all the way it's uphill. Of course, we're climbing the mountain. But especially the last part before you reach uh, the horse camp, yeah, which is a little stone building. That last part is, uh, yeah, challenging. So most of the time you will have Mount Shasta, the view of Mount Shasta, either to the front or slightly to the right. 
but there are some places where it goes in a the trail temporarily goes in a seemingly, seemingly wrong direction <clears throat> especially in the winter time that's where it's easy to get lost so we here are reaching a, a visible landmark so to speak that you it's easy to know that you're on the right path and this is also the part where in the winter time the trail gets um, fuzzy because people tend to take different directions and so the right trail is to go straight for a little bit and then you have to go left So this is where it makes a turn and you may be tempted to go straight or slightly to the right because that's where the top of the mountain is. But you have to go for a little while left and keep the mountain um, like really to the right. And here also we come to a clearing where in the winter time you may be tempted to go slightly to the right because that's where again where the mountain is visible but no you have to continue in what seems to be the wrong direction and then at some point you will make a turn right again as you see here and then as it, if you had the right path you should come to this sign now it says horse camp so this is about halfway a little over halfway i think and then you can also go of course back to Bunny Flat and then to the right to Sand Flat which is a location just below Bunny Flat. But anyway we're not going there, we're not going back yet. We'll continue to Horse Camp. As I mentioned before, here the trail gets a little more challenging, but still uh, very well doable. It's just like climbing the stairs for one and a half miles. That's what it feels like. like to walk with dogs and they are not allowed past this point to uh, protect the li wildlife.
the November time, these uh, notices on the trees are some landmarks for you to look for, to, so you know you're on the right path still. And here we're getting to the destination that uh, stone building that's horse camp with a beautiful view of Mount Shasta behind it. Interior. And if I remember correctly, we are here at about 8,000 feet elevation. And the summit of Manchester is 14,000 feet, so still a little way, a little way to go. But this is a nice place to get some shelter. Find some information about the trails. Now there's a say, sign that says, please, please stay on Olbermann's Causeway. And when I was there, I didn't know, well, when I read that, I didn't know what it meant, Causeway. And only um, like a little bit later, when I go outside again, I realized uh, that's uh, just a... Uh, a big or a path that was created with big rocks. So when you go here, especially in the summertime, and uh, you go past the this building, be sure to stay on 
walk on the rocks and not on the, the sand ground. You'll see in a little bit what is meant by that. This was interesting because when you walk here, you, many, you see many ground squirrels everywhere, and they're typically well, not really shy, but they they won't really stay in place except for this one. When I came here, this one was just sitting in the enjoying the sun, I guess, and wasn't really bothered by my presence even though uh, I'm getting pretty close I'm a little bit close enough to touch the, the stone with my hands but this guy didn't care And so this is a ground squirrel and for a long time I was confused, I, I was confused, I thought this was a, a chipmunk, but then um, actually the, the last time that I was here at Hoa's camp, the, the caretaker who was here at that time told me that no, th this is not a chipmunk, these are ground squirrels and the difference is the marking see this ground squirrel how they have the, the stripes on the back well if the stripes continue on the head then it's a chipmunk if it doesn't continue like here then it's a ground squirrel and a ground squirrel is also um, a bit bigger than a chipmunk chipmunk is about half the size of this here you see my hand on the stone, so how close I was. And at the end of this video I have a short uh, piece that's not too clear unfortunately, but where there just happened to be a chipmunk and a ground squirrel in the same location, and so you can see them together. But like I said, it's not too um, I couldn't get too close. Anyway, I decided to walk a little further and So here to the right you will see that's the causeway. There's big rocks that are put together and at the moment I'm not walking on it because I didn't realize what was meant by that. But then as I continued I noticed this clear pathway that was made with the rocks and stepped on it and walked on it. Yeah. 
this is where I <laughs> came to the realization, oh, this is where I need to walk. And here you can clearly see the causeway. Beautiful views here and really tranquil and calm. So this is what I was talking about before. The ground squirrel in the front and then behind it is a, on the rocks is a chipmunk. It's now moving. And you can see that it is quite a bit smaller than the ground squirrel. The ground squirrel is sitting just uh, still and the chipmunk is moving around. Unfortunately, not clear enough to see the, the markings on the, the head of the chipmunk. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.